get the 2023 Clownfish comic books, including Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. We're offering a limited number of these books. In our second chance offer, go to shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And boy, that was that was fast. So Facebook, or Meta, has its uh, Twitter competitor threads, and it's only been around for a couple of weeks now, right? Mm -hmm. And it's already getting blasted for allowing misinformation and hate speech. Basically, on... I, you don't agree with me. Yes, yes. So okay. We're going to talk about this because I, I think... I think Elon Musk has chased off a lot of the crazies from Twitter. I think the fact that it's become pay to play, I'm sorry, it's called X now. The rebranding, the fact that it's become uh, pay to play, basically, the fact that they've been trying to get rid of a lot of the bots, it has become an unsavory platform for many people. So they're all going over to threads and stirring shit up over there now. And now they're going to try to try to turn threads, I think, into new Twitter, which is fine. It's they not going to work, apparently. They can have it. They can have it. I don't well, I think it's funny. They're saying they, that Meta released a statement admitting it's not extending its fact-checking users, and users have flooded threads with racist. Here, here's the thing: their fact check was bullshit anyway. Yeah, it came out that they weren't even real. They weren't even actual like authorities on things. They were just randos. That they had that they had quote unquote fact checking. So they, and it was a lot of political bias. Yeah. So this is this is great. I I, I made a comment the other day on because I've been on the internet a very long time since almost the beginning, right? Uh, these people, they move from platform to platform. They, they started on LiveJournal, and we talked about mm -hmm. this, and they destroyed LiveJournal like a bunch of locusts, and then they moved on to Tumblr, mm -hmm. and then they Twitter destroyed... Twitter was new Tumblr. Yep, they destroyed Tumblr, so they moved on to Twitter. They destroyed Twitter, and now they're moving on to Threads. Mm -hmm. So They yeah. won't be happy until they have a platform that only is an echo chamber for their own ideas and thoughts. Yes. So let's let's talk about this because I think this is hilarious. I think it's great. Go over there, please, please go over there because I just saw a story the other day that the Doja Cat's getting canceled over there and celebrities are already. The Doja uh, Cat kind of deserves it though. Yeah, that was, she was being a bitch, but but they were um they were the stands are following the celebrities over to Threads and the cancel culture bullshit starting over there and they're basically forgetting about Twitter. Which fine, means, why am I me? Fine. Even if Twitter winds up being, or X or whatever the hell we're calling it now, winds up being a ghost town compared to what it was before, if it's usable. Make cat videos great again. Make cat videos great again. <laughs> That's what we need to do. If it's usable, I'll stay. I'll stay on it. Not that anybody gives a shit what I do, but I'll, I'll stay there. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. If you post a cat video, you'll get a, a double woohoo. Woohoo. Yeah. It was see? a cute, no, no bad cat videos. No, no, no bad cat videos. No. So this is coming from, let's see here. Uh, Blade, Southern California's LGBTQ news source. Meta is allowing misinfo and hate speech to proliferate on threads. Oh my God, Zuckerberg, how dare you? Um, they released a statement admitting it's not extending its fact checking. Uh, so that's what they're doing on Facebook now. If you post right. something, people are getting fact checked for stupid. And it's obviously done by AI. It's obviously done by Well, bots. it was originally done by people at one point because it was like, you know, very political. But I know my mom had put up some stuff or the things that actually happened to her, you know, with her health care or something that actually mm -hmm. something was a real story. And it got blocked and said it was fact checked. It wasn't even it was partially true. It wasn't true. And she's like, like, hell, it isn't true. It just happened to me. But. It was it went against political bias, so a political you know narrative, and so it was fact check as, as untrue. So before we get into the numbers here, though, it's kind of funny. A couple of weeks ago, they were warned it'll become as toxic as Twitter if there's not better moderation. I mean, I don't think it's okay to be going around telling people I don't care which side you're on, you know, to make death threats, to threaten people based no, on no. you know identity politics or you know things like that. I mean, if somebody is you know is straight white and male, you shouldn't be threatened. If somebody is you know not white, not straight, and not male, they shouldn't be threatened either. I mean, it, we're, now if we're talking like people doing the things that it should be like illegal, you know, or things like that, like you're talking about, you know. Doing things to children and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you kind of deserve it. Sorry. Oh, Twitter Twitter turned a blind eye to that for a long I know. time. I'm like, yeah. you kind of deserve it. Yeah. But, you know, most people, you know, 
if they're just because they identify differently than you, that's not a reason to harass them. And do not do that. That's really shitty. Unless if, if they're not attacking you, don't attack them. All right. You know? well, let's go see what's going on here. So yeah, it just launched on it just launched on July 5th, and it's already being taken over. Uh, what for, did you think was going to happen? What did you think? They're locusts. They're moving on to the next and, and, and for every far right extremist you're complaining about, there's a far left extremist on there, too. There, you for, know? For so every, all extremes should be, it should be policed. Uh, for every far right extremist, because most of the people that are actually far right aren't wasting a lot of time on social most media. Most people are actually far – yeah, well, that's just true. Most people that get labeled as far right or alt right are, like, in the middle. Like they're pretty moderate people. You just, you're just, you when you have extreme dumbassery, this is what happens. Uh, grandma voted for Reagan. She's practically a Nazi. She's practically a Nazi. <laughs> know, right? uh, Meta's threads has surpassed 100 million users. And people, are, I guess, apparently aren't using it that much because they're like, yeah, it's kind of garbage, including far right figures and extremists. Also including far left figures and extremists. That's true. The platform quickly became rife with harmful content as Meta carved out exceptions to its community guidelines. On both sides. On both sides. As Media Matters previously reported, Meta launched threads without the fact-checking program that aims to prevent the spread of misinformation on Facebook and Instagram and seemingly abandon hate speech policies. Which, again, works both ways. I mean, because it was just a peaceful protest in 2020 all summer long for months and months and months. Bullshit. It works both ways. You know, you, I, I'm just tired of this. Well, they're 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 not fact checking the far right. They're not ta- fact checking the far left either. Oh, what was it? I got cute misinformation. F- women having female issues from the fucking COVID shots. Hey, guess what? I had them. So don't tell me it's misinformation, bitch. You know what? Bullshit. Uh, it's both sides. You're extremists on both sides. You don't fact check you because you're automatically right because you know you said so. You're right no. because you're left. Right. I mean, exactly. <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. Who's on first? I mean, I know exactly. Uh, I'm just saying, don't say it's one side without saying it's both because it is on both sides that there are extremists, that there are issues, and 99% of people are in the middle. The company even succumbed to complaints from right wing users such as Ian Miles Chong and Donald Trump Jr., dropping warnings. Uh, warning labels the platform initially placed on accounts with a history of spreading misinformation and restoring a post from anti-LGBTQ social media account libs of TikTok that was previously removed as hate speech. Yeah, okay, but okay, where's the list of the ones that they that they you know should have been they should have marked as misinformation from the far left? Because I know on Twitter there was a shit ton of misinformation going around. You know where's that? Oh, my God. So this is, yeah, here we go. Right-wing users on threads have been able to peddle unchecked misinformation about the rigged election, COVID vaccines, and more. Okay, so basically anything that's a threat to their narrative. Yes. And I mean, and I'm not saying everything they post is true. I'm sure a lot of it isn't true. But I'm sure a lot of the stuff that you guys are claiming is truth isn't true either. I mean, I'm sorry. There were a lot of weird shit going on. I saw videos. There was a lot of weird shit going down with the election. Does that mean Trump would have won? Not necessarily. But I'm just saying there was weird shit. And I'm not even somebody who voted for Trump. Okay? And I'm telling you there's weird shit. And I didn't like either. I didn't like Biden either. I don't like politics. I, I don't like to think about politics, unfortunately. They don't let you think about anything else but Yes, politics. you try to get away from it. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to go watch a movie or hey, I'm going to just go read a comic book. Well, guess what? Well, Here come politics. Because Twitter was ground zero for misinformation, political misinformation to try to control elections. Okay, whether whichever side you're on, that's what it was ground zero for. And then new elections are coming up and they want control. And it's all about control. It's about changing the rules to make sure you always have it. And, and, and that's it's bullshit. You know what? It's bullshit. So they're they're uh, making sure they name check all the accounts. Of course, because it's a far we got far left yes. outlet. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Babylon B, Prager U. Um, what's this one? The chalkboard heresy show. I don't even know who these people are. Like again, but I but these are the same people who call me outright, even though I'm not Republican. Because you know, heaven forbid, I can't wrap my mind around the thought that somebody disagrees with me and doesn't believe they can see through my bullshit. And and they have to be the opposite political spectrum. Nope, just you're full of shit, and normal people can see it. Oh oh oh. Okay. Racist, anti-immigrant, and xenophobic hate speech on the platform have included fear-mongering about an invasion of illegal aliens. Hey, we don't know if they're friendly or not. (laughs) Maybe the anal probings, it's just their way of saying hello. But there are videos. Like, like, that's what I don't understand. There's literal videos showing this shit. And these people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. 
It's like there's literal videos. And they're like, no, it didn't happen. Oh, it's what? AI, the, it's AI generated. <laughs> we talking, where are we talking? Are we talking about libs of TikTok or are we talking about, no, we talking about talking actual about illegal UFOs? illegal aliens and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, they're yeah. like, there's videos. Like, there's videos showing the people. And it's like a lot oh, of people. Media Matters. I think Media Matters, if I remember correctly, Media Matters, uh, they were the ones that, that uh, called out um, Dave Rubin for being an anti LGBTQ bigot and a homophobe and he's gay but he doesn't but because he politically doesn't believe what they believe he yeah. has to be everything they think that they assume that people are so i know right but, but they're you know stereotyping is okay when they do it so look i mean regardless of how you feel about the issues this, this is my takeaway from this all the crazies are going to threads let them go yes let, let them, them go let them fight let them go to threads I'm going to hang around on X and I'm going to see what happens. You know, I'm not completely sold on it yet. I was kind of walked away because I'm like, not enough is changing. Now they're changing everything. But I do know my own personal experience is it seems a hell of a lot quieter than it was in terms of crazy. I'm not getting crazy sock puppet accounts attacking me every fucking day. Well, I'm like getting I was more before. like, I mean, they still have assholes on there, but I'm getting more things like funny videos, you know, animal videos. Yeah. Like it used art. to be. Fun art, like someone yes. was doing a bunch of different Barbie pieces Memes. or Sailor Moon as Barbie characters that were beautiful pieces, and I was sharing them. More art, more fun things, more just everybody's getting along. You know, you don't, you might. I didn't like the movie. They liked the movie. Everybody still could get along. You know, it was a lot of people like a lot more of that and less of the, you know, bullshit. They, yeah, I'm with you. Go to Threads by all means. Let them yeah. have it. Let them have it. Just stay the hell away from it, you know? And that, that's kind of where I'm at with it now. Go like there I, and get your data mind. It's all good. Yeah, you you go let Zuckerberg have all your data, and, and you you go fight constantly over politics. I mean, that's all Facebook is now. It's like uh, grandmas posting pictures of their grandkids and people fighting over politics. That's all it is now. I know. I just like... So let, let them have it. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.